Team, keep it clean. Good morning. Hope y'all are doing good on this Thursday. I'm not even all the way awake yet. I'm going to get there eventually, but I love y'all. I really, really, really appreciate everybody. Thank you. Uh, today is a special day because we finally get to hear from the man of the hour. And this was a press conference. I remember when we first signed him. Um, I said I didn't want to see a press conference from Odell Beckham Jr. until or unless Lamar Jackson was going to be accompanying him or Lamar Jackson had his press conference scheduled as well. But we know that is not the case yet, but it'll be interesting and fun to hear directly from Odell Beckham Jr. who uh, landed in Baltimore last night. Last night, so... It is officially official. He will be getting introduced to the world as a Baltimore Raven uh, today at 1 p.m. And I'm very interested to see how the direction of this press conference goes because it's obviously a press conference to introduce Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, as a Baltimore Raven as their newest acquisition, their new wide receiver. It is for him. But I could see how this presser, it could sort of turn into a Lamar Jackson presser. And I mean, again, it, Lamar Jackson is a big subject of concern for the Baltimore Ravens, for Baltimore Ravens fans, for Baltimore Ravens media, for NFL media. Because even though, yeah, the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr., that's nice. It's been said that Lamar Jackson helped recruit Odell Beckham Jr. That's nice. That's great. And like I said, that, that gave me a lot more hope that Lamar Jackson would willingly be staying with the Baltimore Ravens this year. Um, nothing is set in stone yet. N nothing is concrete yet because he hasn't signed a tender. He, I mean, the, the off-season workout program is around the corner, but he's not under contract because he ain't signed a tender yet. I mean, not the tender, but he ain't signed a tag yet. Excuse me. So we'll see. But I am curious to hear what Odell Beckham Jr. has to say about uh, how he can contribute to this offense, what he has to say about Todd Monkey, what he has to say about the Baltimore Ravens just overall as a whole. And obviously, you know, the money is that's, – that's a big reason why he chose the Baltimore. Like, wasn't nobody else giving him that kind of bread. So that's, that's a big reason why he chose the Ravens over everybody. Uh, despite the unknown at the QB situation. But I would just really like to hear how he addresses that. And, and I'm not expecting, oh, yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. going to give us the, the whole truth, the, the full truth, nothing but the truth. Da, da, da. I don't expect him to give, give us every little behind the scene and every little detail and whatnot. But I do want to hear uh, how he speaks on those things. Why did you choose the Ravens? Um, and you know he's going to get asked. That's probably going to be the first question that he's asked. Did you talk to Lamar? Did Lamar help uh, you choose the Baltimore Ravens? Or why did you choose the Baltimore Ravens even with uh, Lamar not under contract yet or with everything going on with him? Why did you still choose here? But this should be a, uh, a fun one. And, and this would be different. Like, I, I, you always hear, like, Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, when he talks about Odell Beckham Jr., um, it's always funny because he uh, – one thing that he points out a lot is social media following. He was like, oh, the Ravens, they signed him based on his, his presence, his social media presence, his popularity and whatnot, his star power. Um, and when I hear those things, initially I was like, mm, but then I thought about it. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Like, I looked at his Instagram, like he got like 17 million followers on Instagram. Ravens have one point something mil. Lamar has like, I think like two mil. So Odell Beckham Jr., this is a star, and that can't go unnoticed. This is somebody who is extremely popular, and this, like, these type of signs don't, don't come by the Ravens too often like that, and, and that's something that you got to pay attention to because that's part of business too. That Odell Beckham Jr. brings more eyes to the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, Lamar Jackson, um, he brings the most eyes. But an Odell Beckham Jr., he will bring even more, a lot more, too. A lot more in addition to if Lamar Jackson does end up staying, which I, I think he will, but, again, nothing set in stone. But Odell Beckham Jr. is just very, very popular. So that 
can do nothing but help the Baltimore Ravens. It'll help them get even more coverage. It could help them get even more primetime games. Uh, obviously, they got to wait to see what happens with the quarterback situation, but we are in April. Y'all know what April is? April is not only when the draft is, but April is usually when the schedule comes out. Usually. But I wonder if they will uh, push that to May just to, to wait on it. Because, again, we, we've seen the NFL push stuff back for Lamar before. Like, remember the playoff schedule? When, the, when everybody made the playoffs and they were getting ready to announce the schedule, they hadn't made anything official yet, but it was unknown whether Lamar Jackson was going to play or not. They pushed the Ravens game as far back as they possibly could. And they put it a Sunday night because they were holding out hope. Like, man, we want Lamar Jackson to play. We know he got a shot. Maybe he'll – but then he didn't play. So um, I wonder with the whole schedule release, because we ain't heard nothing about that. We ain't heard no announcements on it, no nothing. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But this should be fun. This should be fun. Because Odell Beckham Jr., he, he, he brings just a different vibe to him uh, as a wide receiver. And you know what? I, I see a lot of what I see in Odell Beckham Jr. Um, I see that, but like a younger version of it, it was Rashad Bateman. And the reason um, Rashad Bateman is not all the way there yet, I don't think he, uh, he's all the way comfortable yet in the NFL, and, that, and that's not in a, in a bad way. I'm not saying that in a, in a bad way. I'm saying, like, he hasn't, like, fully reached his full personality yet. You know how, like, when you're growing up, you, like, you get into know yourself. You get into know what you like, what you dislike. You get into know your personality traits, your characteristics and whatnot. Um, and as time goes along, you can be, you can build up your confidence in yourself and how you are as a person. And then you can really put it on full display that much more. When you know who you are, that's when you can really put it out there like that. And not saying Rashad Bateman doesn't know who he is, but in the NFL, I just I, I feel like he's blossoming into that, like an Odell Beckham. And just my opinion, because um, he seemed to be sort of like the, the wide receiver, pretty boy, you know, with the earrings, always got the the clean lineup and whatnot, like dressing, like taking all the pictures with all in all the different fashion stuff and whatnot. And he yeah, like having a good time. Now, do he like dancing as much as Odell? I don't know about all that. Part. I don't think anybody like dancing as much as Odell does. But it should be fun, though, man. This should be fun because this is something that's way different than what the Baltimore Ravens have ever really. Like a, a receiver like Odell, a receiver like him, like this is way different. Because you think about the Derrick Masons, you think about Steve Smith Sr., you think about them bringing in Anquan Bolden, Mike Wallace, T.J. Hushman Zada. Uh, like, this is just Sammy Watkins, Deshaun Jackson, uh, Willie Sneed, Seth Roberts. There's Bryant. Now, okay, there's Bryant. He would be more along those lines. But that was a way older Dez Bryant. Like, oh, I guess we starting to get a little padded. Because remember, Des Bryant, he missed, like, what, two, two, three years of football Then Raven signed him? Oh, they'll miss one Raven signed So, okay. So, I guess this ain't so out of character for the Baltimore Ravens. But, now nah, this is cool, man. So, anyway, today uh, at 1 p.m., I, I don't even think I had mentioned the time that the press, the press conference is later. But it's today at 1 p.m. I would suggest um, you get there at about... 12 by by 1257 because you know last year there was a while with the Ravens they were late when their press conference said one you you could be there you could show up at like 130 145 they want CPT time they want CPT and, and and they were doing that for a while but recently Ravens been they've been on point when they say it's gonna start at this time they start at that time so uh, yeah, I would suggest if, if you want to watch it live, obviously the replay is going to be out there, but if you want to watch it live, um, then, yeah, you be there like 12.57, 12.58, and you should be able to catch it from jump. And just in case they got to edit some stuff out, because when you watch it live, that's the only thing. And normally they don't edit stuff out, but when you watch it live, you get everything. But sometimes there could be some little slip-ups here and there, and they got to edit some stuff out and whatnot. They got to change it, but that rarely happens, though. So, yeah, man, this, this should be fun. Odell Beckham Jr. as a Baltimore Raven. It's, I don't think I would ever saw that coming. Like, I, I, I sign him on Madden every year. 
And I mean, but y- y- last night I actually uh, in Madden I had traded him. I traded him for a. Uh, uh, did I get a first round pick for him? No, nah, I didn't get a first round pick for him. I, oh, I traded him for Tariq Woolen, and and a draft pick I think, because my secondary they were just struggling. But anyway, that 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 was that was just Madden. So anyway, um, yeah, man, it, it, this 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 should be fun. This should be fun. Um, and again, I, I just really want to hear the what made him do it. Why? Why beyond the money? What made you choose the Ravens? What can you see yourself doing uh, for the Baltimore Ravens? How are you feeling? Do you feel like you could still be a number one? No, you know what? Let me chill out because I'm over here giving these reporters all these questions and stuff. Let me let, let me let them handle that. Let me let the other people at the press handle those questions because I, I know they got it and I know they're going to bring it today because they should be allowed to bring it today because I, I don't think um, – What's his name? Oh, what's it? Chad? Is it Chad Steele? Who shut that down? Who shut down Alex? Hey, I hope Alex is there today, too. I hope Alex is there in the building and Alex can ask whatever question he went to about Lamar Jackson and he don't get shut down. So shout out to Alex, by the way, man. We 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 rooting for you today. Um, but anyway, this should be a uh a, re- a real fun press conference. A more fun one than we've had or seen in a long time. Cause this is somebody who is really fun. So Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be fun to watch, man. On a serious note, he's going to be fun to watch uh, with the Ravens. Um, I just really hope, like, I really hope everybody could just stay healthy. That's the biggest thing, man. No freak injuries, no freak accidents, none of that stuff. I hope everybody could just stay healthy. Because, and I know, like, it's football, so the team's never fully healthy. But I just, I really hope they can, man. For just the sake of, like, really seeing how far these guys can go, what they're capable of, what they can do, especially in this new offense and whatnot. I just really hope all these boys can stay healthy, man. So that's that. I'll see y'all after the presser. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, have some fun today. Have some fun today. And, and look for reasons to smile because that's important. It's, it's so many reasons that we could list on why we could be upset, why we could be frustrated, and they could be legitimate stuff for sure. Um, but it's important to look for reasons to smile because it's so easy to be robbed of your joy, whether it be by people, whether it be by circumstances, whether it be by situations or whatnot. Um, but try to find reasons that you should be grateful, even when it's hard, because trust me, we all done been through stuff. We all go through stuff. But look for reasons to try to stay positive. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you all later on this afternoon. We out. I thought we were out, but now we out.